What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. I'm Dr. Lindsay Butzer, a small animal veterinarian, and nice to meet you. If you guys are new here, please remember to subscribe to my channel and hit that thumbs up to help these videos circulate to other pet lovers like yourself. So today I have Jasper with me, a super cute black cat, and we're gonna talk to you guys about constipation in cats and how to prevent it, and also how to prevent something called megacolon in cats, which is a very common thing that I come across on a weekly basis with cat owners. <laughs> Before we get started, I want to thank this video's sponsor, which is Barco Uniforms. And the scrubs I'm wearing are Barco 1 in the new summer color called Lavender Wings. So I'm going to put a link in my description below so you guys can click on it and go shop online for some awesome scrubs for yourself. So you've landed on this video because your veterinarian has just diagnosed your cat with constipation. Or you've Googled some words such as straining while they're pooping or meowing really loud when they're going to the bathroom because they're in pain from being constipated. Cats may also have loose stool from a giant hard poop in their colon and the diarrhea is oozing around it to relieve themselves. So constipation in cats is super common and it's something I see on a weekly basis. So the number one reason cats get constipated are if they're obese. So obese cats may have less control over their bowel movements and they are eating so much and blocking up so much poop in their colon that their colon becomes distended, which pushes on the nerves on either side of their colon, creating something called megacolon. And this causes a huge dilated colon with nerves that are damaged from fecal matter pushing on the sides of the walls of them and they can't contract or have peristalsis like they normally do to push that poop out and it results in them becoming constipated. So if your cat has constipation or megacolon for a long period of time, like over three weeks or even over one week, it could damage those nerves so much that this will become a chronic issue for your cat. Your vet will easily be able to diagnose constipation and megacolon in your cat by taking a simple x-ray of them where they can see the entire colon is filled with feces. And that looks like this, which is an image you can find by Googling megacolon or constipation in cats. And it's very obvious. Your veterinarian can also palpate your cat if they're nice enough and if they're not in a ton of pain and they'll be able to feel hard poop within the colon and the intestines. So now that your vet has diagnosed your cat with constipation or megacolon, let's get into the treatments and then I'm gonna give you guys some tips to prevent this and long-term lifestyle habits that you need to start adapting with your pet. So let's get into the treatments that your veterinarian is gonna do to help deconstipate your cat. So if your cat comes in on an emergency basis that they've been constipated for a week or two and they're in a lot of pain and they have a huge hard poop that's seen on x-ray and even megacolon has developed, your cat isn't gonna be able to poop that out with a rectal enema and they're gonna need to be sedated and the fecal material is gonna need to be manually removed using rectal techniques and lubricants to make it comfortable for your cat. And we put them under anesthesia because it's super uncomfortable and cats do not want you doing this to them. So they're sedated, it's painless, and when they wake up, they feel relieved and then we could treat them with some oral enemas. In less severe cases, veterinarians have a product called a pet enema that they can rectally administer into your cat's colon to help expel that poop that's in there. Your veterinarian will also give your cat some fluids to keep them hydrated, which also helps keep things moving in the intestines. So now that your vet gave your cat a pet enema, which may take 30 minutes to an hour for them to expel that feces, they will keep the cat in a cage at their veterinary hospital so that they don't poop in your car on the way home. Your veterinarian will then talk to you about the at-home care of constipation using an oral laxative called lactulose. So you will be prescribed this and they will tell you to give it to your cat two to three times a day, depending on how constipated your cat is. You also don't wanna be giving the lactulose to your cat if they're having constant diarrhea because that's uncomfortable for them. You wanna be giving it to them so that their stool is just soft 
and comes out easy to help alleviate the colon, which was distended for a long period of time. And this gives those nerves in the colon some time to regenerate and heal if there's still time for that. Lastly, your veterinarian is gonna talk to you about your cat's diet and what you were feeding them before they got constipated. The first thing is putting them on a weight loss plan because obese cats are the ones that come in constipated most of the time. They're also gonna want you to maybe switch from a dry food to a wet food diet, which is more hydrating and will help the stool be a little more soft versus being on a dry food diet. And then they also may choose a diet that's higher in fiber, which helps with constipation in general. So now I'm gonna give you guys supplements that you can use for your cats to help alleviate constipation if it happens in the future. First, there's a supplement sold online called Laxatone Gel, which is used for hairball remedies in cats, but it also helps alleviate their constipation. You put a little bit of that gel on the tip of the nose of the cat and they'll lick it off and that can help alleviate constipation. The next supplement is Metamucil or Psyllium, which is a soluble fiber used primarily as a gentle bulk forming laxative which you can get from your local drugstore. You can give them a quarter teaspoon once or twice a day to increase fiber to alleviate constipation and promote regular bowel movements. The next one is adding more fiber to your cat's diet using cat formulated fiber powders such as Vetacil by Verbac or using feline diabetic formulated wet food diets such as Hills WD, which has increased fiber in it to bind sugar for those diabetic cats but it also helps with constipation. The fourth thing is adding some probiotics to their food. I like to use Fortiflora by Purina, which is a great feline probiotic, which can help aid in digestion and constipation. Number five is adding fish oils or canned sardine oil to your cat food to help aid in constipation. And my cats love licking up these smelly juices. All right guys, so the last thing is an obvious one, and that is increasing the amount of water your cat drinks to keep them hydrated. And you can do this by keeping fresh water out. We know how picky cats are. They want fresh food, they want fresh water. They have all of us trained with their AI senses or their alien-like ways. So keep fresh water out for them. You can even have a little water fountain. They sell a bunch of them online. I can put one in the description below. Sold on Amazon for you guys. I'll pick one out that I like the best. Um, and basically keeping them hydrated is just gonna help alleviate their constipation. All right guys, you learned a lot today, but it is really important to make sure your cat doesn't get constipated too often because it can be irreversible and they can get that word mega colon that I talked to you guys about in this video. You guys are learning a ton from my channel and I love it. Like always, hit that subscribe button and I'll see you guys back here next week for another veterinary video.